Hi, I'm Jeffrey Kramer, and we are at the Southern Power Company Transformer House location in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And I've managed to wander into the woods and find the dump. And it's kind of spread out over a wide area. It's not all piled up. It looks like they just shoved it back here. It's kind of far back in the woods, but... I've got some pieces too, some Thomas insulators that are from 1907, maybe 1908. Obviously came from the large tie-in substation they have here, they had here on the property. <clears throat> Holy crap. That is a lot of insulators. All right. This is a great find, guys. This is, I'm really hoping to get some cool stuff. I'm looking for Thomas two-part suspensions. Those are something I'm really looking for because of their rarity and value. Also, oof, my God, that's a lot. It's not the exact type we're looking for. Those are Ohio brass, maybe from the 30s and 40s. More Ohio brass. Wow, this stuff is pretty buried pretty deep too. It's over a pretty wide area. Oh my, I might see the main portion of the dump down here. I just found it about five minutes ago after searching for a while around the substation turned out to be back in the woods a ways. Holy crap, that's a lot of insulators. Probably the best find of the year yet. Oh my god, that's a lot. Wow. That's a piece of a really old Ohio brass right there. You can tell by the top on it. A glaze on it. That's a 1940s Lux suspension. Another string of Lux suspensions. This stuff is buried in the ground too. It's a plate to something old. Alright. What is that? It's another really old Ohio brass insulator right there. There's stuff everywhere back here. This is everywhere. It's all spread over a huge area too. That was buried too. Ooh, we got some we got some gray shards over here. Is this something to a wall tube or looks like a gray suspension? Just because of the rings, I don't think it's that old. And the rings aren't very thin. Some more pieces of the gray stuff over here. It's not that old. Let's see. Holy crap, there's even more. Getting better and better, guys. That's not that very old. Oh, that's pretty old looking. Real reddish color. Lap or something. Ah. Uh. All right. Stuff isn't too early though, so I'm not happy about that. So I came for the early stuff. So those blue shards are off of this thing right here. It looks like some sort of wall tube. I'm just gonna put it sitting right there. Glass or something.
I don't know how much farther this goes back. Ah, it's a newer type of suspension. Really, really widespread out. First it's kind of in a, a line, but now it's just everywhere. Oh yeah, it's everywhere. I don't know how deep it goes either. See what that is? It's another wall tube thing. Some sort of big monstrous porcelain thing. Well, it's not that old. That is a problem. But there's some old stuff mixed in, which tells me they either reused some of the old stuff or this was replaced the old stuff. As I go down by this new sewer line that's been put in. Doesn't look like anything's gonna be down here, but it is definitely worth a check. Oh, well, there's stuff down there. Looks like they shoved some more stuff down there. I don't know if it's insulated or not. Well, that's an insulator, well damn. Some sort of a mega wall tube thing. I'm not even gonna try to pick it up. Some wires spooled up around here. Oh yeah, there's more insulators down here. This is how wide this area is. Sewer lines, the railroads off that way. Got some little cross arms and stuff here. That that is off the Piedmont and Northern. That is stuff from about 1912. That electric railway was built through Spartanburg. Oh my god, too many. There is a pile of insulators down here. Good lord. I'm tripping over insulators getting to it. Okay. Well, that, that's an early one right there. Let's go see that one. All of this I gotta go through and see. Ah, it's not early, never mind. The big lap right there. Ohio brass everywhere, lock everywhere, suspensions everywhere. I'm looking for the Thomas two part suspensions. They're a rare type, but it's a neat little piece. I don't see any around here, which kind of sucks. It's an early Ohio brass. I don't really have the time today to super go through this and you know see if anything's buried anymore or see if any of these pieces on the ground are worth even taking home. I don't, I don't know. They're, everything's pretty busted up when it looks like they just took a tractor and just pushed it all to one side. Be some multi -part. Looking for those suspensions. No early Thomas suspensions. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think they Thomas. Then they're buried in there too. No, they're not Thomas. This dump just goes on forever. <laughs> I mean. I am still going. It's been a good 15 minutes since I found this dump. Mm. I 
All right. Obviously, when I go towards the railroad here, there is nothing coming up. But of course, when we turn back around, there's stuff on the hillside. So there's just so much stuff piled up around this area. Most of it's a huge quantity of it's just destroyed and broken. Not even worth picking up. Of course, I only found a few pieces to the early stuff. I hear a train coming. The tracks over there. And I'm, I'm finding only a little bit of the, a little bit of the uh, early stuff. So. I want to find a lot of these. Norfolk Southern up there. Going over the bridge. That bridge was built in 1913 when Southern Railway was rerouting their Charlotte to Washington track. As I go this way, I'm not seeing anything. But the dump is more that way. Still looking up in the, let's go up towards the car here. Parents are gonna wonder where I am. Well, come back to dig this one, that's for sure. But hopefully it's worth digging. 